The 2019 budget, tagged Budget of Continuity, laid by President Muhammad Buhari before a joint session of National Assembly amidst chairs and booze, has a total proposal of 8.83 trillion naira. Capital expenditure is pegged at 2.031 trillion naira, and recurrent expenditure is at 4.04 trillion naira, while sinking fund, statutory transfer, and debt services go up the balance of 2.79 trillion naira. On the prospect of the budget to improve Nigeria's economy in the coming year, a professor of capital market and head of the department, banking and finance, Natarawa State University, Uche Waleke, says $60 per barrel oil benchmark is not realizable given the recent drop in global oil price. What I don't um, quite agree with is the oil price benchmark of $60 per barrel uh, because um, I think it is rather on the high side. I think it's ambitious. Um, and that's, you know, uh, you know, given the uh, current realities. You know, what are these current realities? As at the time the project proposal was being, um, uh, you know, put together, oil price was high. You know, we understand it averaged seventy-four dollars per barrel as at you know October. But as we speak, oil price has started, you know, coming down. He says capital component of any budget is the driving force for economic development of the nation. Hence, he commends government for. 30% allocation of the budget to capital expenditure as he urges government to ensure performance of the capital budget through timely releases. Uh, it's also noteworthy that about 30% of the budget is going into capital spending. Just as we've had in previous years. And of course, you know, the capital component is what's, what drives growth. So attention is being given to infrastructure in this um, 2019 budget. Of course, you know, it's one thing to provide for it. It's also another thing to implement. So implementation is key, okay? And my worry concerning implementation is that you know that implementation is going to be a function of revenue, how much you get, is that not so? And the revenue projections we have in 2019 have given a lot of emphasis to oil revenue. On the recent increase in unemployment rate from 17.6 million to 20.1 million, Professor Waloki urges government to focus on providing the right environment for jobs to grow as well as investing more on skills acquisition. We are not creating jobs, you know, um, commensurate with the number of people that enter into the labor force. What the government needs to do is to focus on providing the right environment for jobs to be created. Empowering the private sector to become the engine of growth in the economy. So if you invest in infrastructure, uh, the, the, the critical sectors manufacturing, uh, you know, that drive growth, once infrastructure is in order, particularly power, you create an environment where people will on their own, you know, have these jobs. He tasks government to spend less on frivolities and to channel the resources to investment on infrastructure and skills. Joseph Kadri, ITV News, Abuja.